Hello, I'm Grant Reher, director of the Campbell Public Affairs Institute at the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University. I'm here with Dean Strang. You may know his name as one of the two defense lawyers for Stephen Avery, as seen in the Netflix documentary series, Making a Murderer. He's here to talk about some of his reflections on the criminal justice system more generally as they come out of that experience in the case and other experiences that he's had as a criminal defense attorney. Uh, Dean, welcome to the Maxwell School. Thanks for having me. You're here to talk about humility as a value that uh, you think needs to come out of the criminal justice system, be emphasized more. I was curious to hear how that view has come out of your experiences as a criminal defense attorney. For whatever reason, um, my three plus decades of practicing law have have left me convinced that um, there's there's too much hubris uh, among the actors in the institutions that together compose our criminal justice system and not enough humility. Um, and when I say the actors, I'm talking about the, the professionals um, mm -hmm. who staff these institutions at all levels, police officers, prosecutors, probation agents, defense lawyers, judges, um, all of us, I think, uh, would do well, would, would, would serve our public offices better if we were encouraged to display, adopt, and act on um, a little more humility in our work every day. And now I've seen the series. I think probably many of the people watching this will have seen the series too. It does seem like there's a fair amount of hubris uh, to be found in the way that that case was prosecuted. Uh, is that something that informed your views in any way? No one case did. I mean, you see it in in the Avery case because that's that's the one um, you know about which a docu series happened to be made. Um, but I, I see it all the time with um, police officers professing absolute certainty about somebody's guilt, about their about their moral value as a human being, mm -hmm. um, for that matter. Um, Prosecutors, the same thing, defense lawyers, judges, probation agents. All of us really, I think, often sort of project a kind of certainty about the correctness of our own conclusions or uh, the propriety of outcomes that we together combine to produce uh, that, we, that we pitch to the public and that's really very often unwarranted. Uh, that certainty. I see it as self-protective or self-defensive, um, you know, in that our, our own egos and professional reputations and, you know, and, and prosperity are, get tied up in the correctness of the outcomes um, that courtrooms produce. Um, and the consequences of our mistakes are terrible, and, and I think we recoil from acknowledging even the possibility of a mistake. And, and you know, because um, police officers and judges and prosecutors hold respected public offices, lawyers, in spite of all the lawyer jokes, still hold a, a fairly high status in our society, you know, we're, we get lulled into the belief that we simply can project a level of certainty and confidence that, in fact, objectively doesn't withstand scrutiny. That's probably a lesson for many professions and many of us. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me.